Hi there, welcome to Kevin Shaves. Nice to see you again, and it's nice to be here shaving. Today's shave is a little bit special. <laughs> uh, we're going to start today's shave again with the Gentleman's Groom Room Shave Prep Plus. Uh, I love this stuff, very, very good. This is unrefined shea butter uh, with a little bit of scent added from the Groom Room. Uh, here's the ingredients on the back, very, very small writing. Um, someone commented, I think it was was it Tux Key on my last YouTube video asking to show the ingredients of the Shave Prep Plus. So what I've done is I've done a little close up um, for anyone that wants to see the ingredients. Uh, just kind of settled in with the camera because this is very small and I don't know if I'll be able to hold it steady. <laughs> so you can take a look at the ingredients right now and we'll come back and then we'll apply some of this. Okay, let's uh, start to apply this. Hopefully you had a look at the ingredients. Yeah, you just need about a fingernail's worth. Put it in the palm of your hand. Uh, rub your palms together just to, the heat from your hands will melt it. Kind of like butter. A nice lavender scent. And there's a couple other ingredients in it, but I can't recall what they are, and I do apologize. I think it's... Uh, is it lavender and uh, bergamot? I don't know, I can't remember. There's definitely a lavender in it and it smells lovely. Because unrefined shea butter, apparently, I've never smelt it, but Ian at the gentleman's groom room tells me that unrefined shea butter smells quite nasty, <laughs> not very nice. So he's added some essential oils to this pre-shave to make it smell nice for the people. <laughs> and it does smell nice and it's very good. Uh, you can use it as a post shave as well. I've never tried it, I've only ever used it as a pre-shave. Very nice. And it just works into the bristles. Just to soften them even more, but uh, I've just come out of the shower, so Yes, and it is me. This is Kevy. I've had a haircut, I know. Um, yeah, I'm getting it finished off tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, gentleman's groom room. Shave prep plus. Comes in a nice little glass jar. Okay, the razor for today. Rockwell 6S. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant razor. All stainless steel, very nice knurling on the handle, great weight to it. Uh, and this is an adjustable razor, believe it or not. How do you adjust it, Kerry? Well, I will tell you. It's a three piece razor, so you unscrew the handle. Uh, inside that, I have a Astra Superior Platinum, second use of that blade, otherwise known as an Astra Green. Um, yeah, so it's an adjustable. These plates on the bottom here, they have different numbers. You can see that one says three, turn it over, that one says one. Three and one. Uh, numbered one to six, there are three of these bottom plates, so R3 is showing there, so that is the level of aggression I will get from this with the R3 showing on the bottom there. That's the one I can see, R3, so that's the level of regression straight in the middle. The numbers go to one to six. I think it's one and three on this one, two and four on the other plate, and the last one is five and six, which will be the most aggressive, but number three, uh, right in the middle. I may change it out, flip it over, halfway through the shave to number one. I'll see how it gets on. And this has a lovely coating on it, which makes it very, very slick. It's a great razor, really good. Okay, the soap for today. This is the uh, star of the show for today. This is Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum Shading Soap. This is just out from Phoenix and Bow. Phoenix and Bow are a UK soap maker. Uh, bay, Spice and Lime. This is their take on a Bay Rum, but it smells like a bear rum. 
it tastes like a bear rum, but it isn't a bear rum. Well, it is. <laughs> uh, the only difference with this bear rum is Kerry, the guy who makes the soap uh, at Phoenix and Bow, has left out the clove because clove sometimes has a bad reaction with people's skin, uh, and he's replaced that with lime and lang lang, and. Yeah, it does smell like bear rum, but you can, you can smell there's something else going on in there. It's not got that um, clovey scent. It's very, very nice. Uh, I'm hoping it will, once it's lathered up, it will smell different. I'm not hoping it. I mean, it, it smells nice at the tub, but, <laughs> you know, I'm hoping it doesn't smell, have that same bear rum smell. So, probably about scent strength, about a... Uh, Maybe a four or five out of the tub. Uh, you probably notice some writing on this one. This is a, I won a competition to come up with a scent profile for Phoenix and Bo's summer scent. Uh, and they chose the name Oberon, uh, which that will be coming out. So one of the, the prizes was to get that soap when it comes out and also to get the uh, number one signed tub of Imperial Rum. So Kerry has signed it here, number one, uh, and on the back it has uh, number one in the batch. And here's the ingredients for you guys who want to see them. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about with this was this label. Uh, Kerry's wife, Sarah, Sarah Burrows, designs these labels for the Phoenix and Bow soaps. And this one is amazing. I mean, you look at it like that, and then you turn it and the octopus catches the light and it's like a gold fleck, you can see it there. Just amazing, beautiful, beautiful label. Almost like a hologram. Yeah, just when it catches the light, you can see it there. And I love these little anchors at the side. Very, very nice. And it has this for the, the nautical theme continuing. So, uh, here's the soap here. Kind of like a fudge. I can press my finger into it, but uh, let's get it lathered up. And I don't think I've showed you the brush. The brush I'm going to be using is the Satin Tip The Purest. This is a little synthetic brush. This is the black fibred one. You can get it in white fibred or black fibers. Alex De Leon kindly gifted me this. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so I've not bloomed the soap. I'm just soaking the brush in the water. A couple of flicks. And then we'll go right to the top. Just going to dip the tips of the brush again just to... Yeah, you can see right away. Just gathering the soap on the bristles. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Having a good week, it's Friday, the weekend's almost here. Um, and this is a Phoenix and Bo are quite a, a thirsty soap. They're tallow based, so they can take a lot of water. Yeah, it does smell different. <laughs> Not hugely different, but it doesn't smell like a, an authentic bear rum uh, on the account of the, the lime, I think, being in there. Just gives it a nice, almost like a cleaner uh, scent, a cleaner edge to the scent. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, um, if we need more, we can go back to the tub. Let's get lathered up. I'm just going to dip the tips a little bit. And again, like I say, this is a quite a thirsty soap, so. Don't be scared to add water to your lathers. And Kerry, the guy who, uh, the main man, the guy who runs things at Phoenix and Bow, he has made a video um, kind of telling you all about this Imperial Rum. So I'll put the link for that video in the description. And uh, if you guys want to take a look, you can because I've probably missed out lots and lots of different things. 
And if Kerry, if you're watching this, please don't be screaming at the screen saying, You never told them about the bit, about the, 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 the. I forgot. <laughs> I just want to shave. Yeah, so thank you very much, Kerry and Sarah, for uh, sending me the Imperial Rum. And I love the label. And I don't know whether it's uh, coming across on the video, but you can see the shine on this soap, on this lather, which means it's going to be slick. Nice lather. Okay, let's just put the brush there. Let's uh, get some heat into the Astro Blade. And let's fire on for the shave with the Rockwell success on number three plate. Oh yeah. Lovely. You can tell from the first, the first stroke that you have, the first stroke down when you shave, uh, you can tell the slickness of the soap and the quality of this razor. No pressure at all, just let the razor rest and because it has a nice weight to it, this razor, uh, it's, uh, it's effortless. And that's soap. It's uh, super slick. Very nice. Nice glide. A beautiful scent. Well done, Kerry and Sarah. Very nice. Wow. First pass done. Let me rinse and I will come straight back. Rinsed off. Back for pass number two. With the Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum. Uh, satin tip, the purest brush and the Rockwell success. And it's amazing how much uh, lather this brush holds. I mean, you look at it like that and you think there's not much left there, but it just keeps releasing it and releasing it. Excellent little brush. It's painting it on. I was going to bowl lather with this uh, soap, but uh, I decided not to. Just to Go straight from the tub. Okay, pass number two, across the growth of the hair. Listen to that feedback, did you hear? Amazing. Very 
Very good. Yeah, I was one of the uh, the first testers when Phoenix and Bo, uh, when they were bringing out their soaps, uh, I think it was about two or three years back now, and uh, they were looking for testers to test out um, unscented, their unscented soap. So I was one of the testers, and um, yeah, I knew straight away they were onto something because it was very, very good. And I'm just being careful here. Not to catch my Adam's apple, which I did in a previous shave. So what are your plans for the weekend? Ah, oh, barbecue, yeah. Can I come? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll bring, um, I'll bring some stuff. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Sadly, the weather here isn't uh, barbecue weather just yet. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been raining, the sun's out now, but it has been pissing down this morning. Okay, second pass done. Oh, 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 oh. Fantastic. Okay, let me just rinse and I will come back for pass number tres. <coughs> Cleaned off again. Okay. That's uh, so what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this, these kind of suds that are left over in the tub. Just uh, skipping them all out. I'll get the brush, just dipping the tips a bit again. Actually, I'm just going to gather some more soap just for this final pass because it's good soap. <laughs> it smells lovely, very good. Yeah, really nice. Dipping the tips of the brush again just to get the lather to moisten up a bit. What lovely consistency to the soap. Yeah, you can tell uh, the quality of the soap. Soaps like these, you can just tell when you put them on your face, just from using so many soaps. Um, when a soap goes on like this, you can you can tell the quality of it, like this in uh, Wickham's and Barrister and Man and Soap Commander, all the kind of top players. They just have a different kind of consistency. Very nice, okay. Third pass. Against the growth of the hair. I've left this on uh, number three for the whole shave. I think they've brought out, um, Rockwell have brought out a 6, is it 6C? Um, I think it's like a, a kind of, is it brushed steel or something like that? It's not aluminium, it's a bit lighter than this. Um, meaning it's not as expensive either, which is good. I 
uh, a little bit there. So get this right in that fold again, you know. Look. <laughs> a fat fold. Yeah, too many donuts, Kevy. Welcome to the adventures of Kevy's Fat Folds. Yeah, they should have their own TV show. It's nice getting them. But it's hard to get rid of them, especially the older you get. Diets and stuff. Ken Lee, who is um, a wet shaver here on YouTube, he has lost a shitload of weight and he looks absolutely fantastic for it. Well done Ken, if you're watching, um, you've done very well and you look amazing for your weight loss. Well done mate. Okay, three passes. Done. Wow. Pickups down here. Usual spots. Let's just do these now. Just on my chin and uh, get around here. Three and a half pass shave. <laughs> wow, you can really hear that. A tiny little bit there. And there's still good slickness from the soap. That feels nice. One little bit there. Got it. Okay. Let's see how much soap's left in the brush. Yeah, as you can see, quite a bit. So I'm just going to rub this beautiful smelling soap into my face and skin. And then I will see you rinse off. I'll rinse off with hot and cold water and I'll see you for the post shave. See you soon. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers. What a beautiful shave. Skin feels fantastic. Okay, no witch hazel today, no balm, nothing like that. Straight in with the Nivea Men Two Phase Aftershave Lotion. Uh, someone wanted to see the ingredients in this, so here are the ingredients. Yeah, I think this is available in Europe now, so it may be spreading. Hopefully you guys in the States will get it. Here it is here. As you can see, it's uh, kind of split into two. Uh, there's a balm and an aftershave in one, and you shake it to mix the ingredients together. So that's it mixed. It has a nice little flow restrictor there. And this feels your, <laughs> this feels your face. <laughs> this leaves your face feeling fantastic. Quite greasy when it goes on at first, but after that, whoa, beautiful. Hardly any tingle at all, a tiny little bit, but not much at all. There's a little bit of menthol in this. Oh, oh. 
Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, very good. As I say, it does feel greasy when it goes on, but two minutes, it's gone. Um, I think it's because of the glycerin in it. Glycerin in it. Let me just wipe my hands. Yeah, so that was a Nivea Too Faced, and as you can see, look, it's uh, it's starting to separate again. It's uh, so cool looking. So, there we have it, today's shave. Fantastic. Ready for Friday, ready for the weekend. <sighs> um, let's go over what we've used again today in this wonderful, wonderful shave. Razor today, Rockwell 6S. Beautiful, beautiful razor. Nice weight. It is an adjustable. I had it on the number three plate, which you can see under the base cap there. R3. Yeah, fantastic razor. Inside that, I had an Astra SP. Second use on that blade. Fantastic. Start of the shave. Don't forget this. Uh, with the Gentleman's Groom Room Shave Prep Plus. Excellent. I really like this. Really, really good. Uh, that was the prep, that was the razor, that was the blade, the brush. The fantastic little satin tip, the purest synthetic brush. Excellent. The star of the show, without doubt, Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum Shaving Soap. Bay, Spice and Lime. With the hologram octopus on the label. Yeah, this is the number one tub from them. Very, very good. Thank you very much, Kerry and Sarah, again. Here's the soap here, I've cleaned it up. Excellent soap. Beautiful scent, really nice. If you like Bay Rum, you will love this. You will love this. It's just a little bit different from others, which uh, makes it very, very, very good. And the performance from it, fantastic. Uh, slickness, glide, cushion, protection, everything. Then rinsed off with hot water and cold water and finished it off with the Nivea Men Two Phase Aftershave Lotion. And there we have it. Oh, a little bit there. A little bit of blood. That's okay. One little bit. Yeah, we can't complain about that. Every shave can't be perfect, right? But this one is uh, pretty close. Apart from that one little bit there, but that's okay. That will heal. Uh, yeah, so that's all for me for today. Have yourselves a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Eat, drink, be merry, spend it with loved ones, family, friends, anything. If you're having a barbecue, lucky you, because the weather here isn't barbecue weather, but that's okay. I'm still going to enjoy my weekend. Okay, until the next time, which hopefully won't be too long, I shall see you soon. Take care of yourselves, and I love you all. <laughs> Bye.